Game start. The foe summons the two di different strong units from their deck. The player's created card costs three more. Oh. Wait, we have a bunch of that. I'm still gonna try it, though. I'm still gonna try it, even though that does kind of screws over for some of our best cards. If you get Puffcat, pop in 6.5, it summons an Ava. <laughs> okay, I, I gotta see that. Little buddies. When you summon a 5 plus attack power, uh, power ally, it strikes the weakest enemy. I can do little buddies, I guess. Like, having blockers is not that bad when they're gonna summon the two strongest units. This is a Viego adventure, though, so the Poros will probably not do a whole lot. Yeah, buddies is extra bombs. Um, and blocks always good. Yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh my god. Okay, um... <laughs> Can I please get my Grander Plaza back? Please? It's gonna attack because we get the cards back anyway. Okay, once we beat this adventure, by the way, we're gonna switch to Dredge. We're gonna play the fishing horror game. I'm really excited to try out the DLC. You gotta leave the bay to see the ocean. Let's see who comes out on top. Ah, yes. Gosh dang it. I'm found out. Opportunities double-edged. Oh! Save my guys! Find her. Hey, get that thing out of here. And it's a crit. I want to collect the slow and steady. Even though this is the worst adventure for it. Because <laughs> it's so expensive. Okay, that's four. We can play Caitlyn, attack with Caitlyn, Closing and then we have another Caitlyn next turn. I'd really dig an epic relic that makes your opponent draw additional cards. Okay, so, uh... I've been thinking a lot, and... I was, I was coming up for solutions for the epic problem, the epic relic problem. And what I what I figured after talking to some very knowledgeable people is that cards like Starforge Gauntlets are cool because they can be equipped on different champions. Car or epic relics like uh, Yasuo are bad because they essentially are only playable on one single champion, right? But I think they've been doing a better job since the Vi relic, even the Swain relic is a lot better. So I was thinking, what we need to move towards is a relic that will be like Teemo's hat that says, when you cast a spell, shuffle three shrooms into the enemy deck. If I'm Teemo, your opponent draws an additional card. Or they can make it, make it even more open-ended and just say like, if you shuffle the trap into the enemy deck, or if you, rather, if your opponent drew a trap last turn, both players draw a card. Something like that. Because then you have a way to enable it with spell synergy champions but also specifically for trap champions which is like it, it's that extra line of text that i don't really mind and the specificness of some of these of these relics are fine but they're not fine if you have to pay for it and they're almost mandatory to fully unlock one of your champions so that, that's why i really like that the vi relic came out the way it did oh my god eclectic yes We collect the collecting. When I'm summoned, summon a copy of me. Plus three, but it costs one more. When I'm summoned, the strongest enemy I strike each other. Yeah, this one is borderline unplayable because of that. Okay, roll. I. 
<laughs> the gauge breaker? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> uh, let's go to the spells chest. Yeah, we got the Kate Vi. I if I if I pass that up, I'll get flamed, so I'm not going to. Ew. Okay, I need to cut this. I love Brainworm as a card, but this card is just bad. How many stars does you buy at? Zero. I'm playing Caitlyn right now. <laughs> Tell it to the fists. Hello there. Yeah, this card kind of sucks. This is missed. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. As a five-star Vi enjoyer, I will say she's a lot more fun than before, but she's still kind of boring and worse, kind of weak. Yeah, I'd have to try her out. Oh my god. Wait, why is this thing not dead? Wait, what? Did everything land on the Poro? How did that happen? Wait, what? They're not dead even. Like, I, I think Kate is also mostly strong because of her uh, her six star that I have. Make no mistake. Oh my god. Five star Kate is also really strong. I, I I wouldn't know because I upgraded her immediately. So on on paper, it seems like she would be pretty weak, but I really don't know. The charlatan fishmonger. I think we're gonna go for it. Get that two sided draw. Hero's horn. Oh, insider knowledge. Yeah, get me that one. Okay, we're we're, we're starting to cook. We're starting to cook with this run. We got the two-sided draw, which is just so important as Caitlyn. Should six-star champs be balanced around how their how their star skill? One five weak and six wrong, which would be better than one six average. I don't really know. I don't think I like that. I don't like forcing people. I don't like forcing people to have that six star. I feel like the deck should be entirely playable without it. Okay, bro. Honestly. <laughs> If they summon a goddamn overwhelm from their deck at the start of the game, I, I feel so cooked already. I finished Aesol with Vi 3 star with a relic. I'm just gonna get rid of the overwhelms, I guess. Thing as yet is. I smell rat. Rat eyes and flesh. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong yeah, and feebling would have been pretty good. So close. <laughs> Find her. Oh, cut heel. Fourteen. Oh god. Yeah, I think I have to play this and this. Because this might allow me to play Caitlyn next turn and kill them. Obliterate all landmarks. On foot. Attack with the one impact damage. 
30 flash bombs. They're gonna draw two cards. Can't wait for the mini boss. Am I gonna get screwed? Two. Six. That's eight. Ooh, that was a pretty good board player. So eight. It's 20 damage. Okay, I'm gonna crit here. <sighs> get it twisted. I'm gonna miss. No, I hit it! Let's go! 50 percenter. Every time. So free. No, there's six mana. Stop right there. I mean, I took so much less damage because of that. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we need nine mana. Do we have that? I think we have eight. Right? Yeah, we have eight. Dangert. Ooh. Aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Is excellent. News from the undercity ship, Detective Zane. Go in the report, Sheriff. She may off nicely. Scoping the area. <laughs> Get him, boys. Let's talk about your death. Easy. Now we wait. So easy. Just nuke him. I don't want to roll here. Oh, the mini boss is Nivea. Targon Peak isn't bad. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm I'm just gonna assume that you're capping, cause that's cap. Should have maybe kept the charlatan. <laughs> okay, thanks, Riot. That <laughs> I love that. I love it when they do that. Oh, what the hell? Not that guy. Oh, oh God. Ah! They get bigger because of that. And it's an elusive blocker immediately. Yeah, okay. At least there's only one overall, I guess. Okay, we 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 might act. I did. He steals zero damage. Very cool, Riot. Very cool. 13, 9, 21. I, I think I need to crit. But if I miss, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crit here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it is that easy, at least. There's that. I regret nothing. At least I'm good at the game. Jesus Christ, dude. That's so disgusting. That would have been an extra blocker, by the way, but berries. Berries is a good card, I guess. Oh, suck it! I'm blocking them. Another crit! Actually, the Anivia kills me too. I, I I need two flash bombs to land here or I'm dead. Come on. Come on. Fill your lungs and cry. 
Mr. Sunyui, can we pretend for another month that my streak was never lost? Yo, Alucard, thank you for the 29 months. On a three month streak. I mean, on a 29 month streak. Thank you. Yeah, hey, don't worry about it. Streak is intact, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we're very alive here. Then <laughs> they attack on the left with it. That's honestly so. L it's from the Ruby Eyed Conjurer! Screw you, game! I feel like like everything kind of went our way and we still lost. <laughs> How easy was 5 with 5? That's what I'm playing right now, right? No, I'm not. No, this is 6.5. 5.5 was fine. It's the exact same two cards. Are those the strongest two? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I got a credit or I lose. Didn't crit, so I lose. All right, GG. Yeah, this one's just over. Opportunities double edged. They just don't die because of Lord Eldret. Okay, dude. In my sights. Might help, might not. Look after them. Play it. Rip. <laughs> Not enough flash bombs at all. Again, that would also be dead without this. That was it. I mean, Hidden Tome has so much synergy too if you're going for spells. I, I just think it's really, really good. Welcome gifts. I'm I'm going for hold it, dude. I'm going for hold it. Hold it might actually just save the run. Because if we can stop one single big overwhelmer from hitting us, the entire run could be saved. Double to 50% crit spells makes it 100%, right? Yeah, so it's 40 damage. You're right. That's exactly how it works. You have to really push for early traps to discount the ace and hold it. Yeah. I see that. Hey, there we go. See? Big, big overwhelm is, uh, is stunned. Oh, Targon's peaked at that. Abraxas with the three years! Thank you, buddy. Appreciate all the support. We lean on compassion when we lose our footing. Sure, but really, watch your footing. This time, we make things right. Here's what we need. Here's what we need. Perfected mana flow. How hard could it be to find that? 
Thoughts about the can die while attacking item okay? I think it's bad. Don't like it. At all. Can't stop now. Wear three year batch. I'll I'll actually uh I'll start working on it. Okay, so we no longer have to gate breaker. I have to keep that in mind. Just begun. I think it's really worth playing her now, then. Yeah, I think so. We can open attack with her. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. News from the Undercity ship, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Here's my calling card. No, please. Good enough, I guess. I'm always on the right side of things. Don't kill her. Alright, I could have a stun. Don't do it. What? Wait, then. Oh, it's doubled. Master. Why are you seven mana? Low what? Tough places breed tough people. Giving chase in my sights. Keeping pace. And what the hell? Yeah, it's generated. It's from her own champion spell, right? Didn't crit. Man. So close. All right. Crit him right there. This was already a lot smoother than whatever we tried to do previously. It might be because of Hold It, though. Hold It is just really good. Ooh, hey, I like this one. I don't think I can do Eye of the Dragon, but Charlotte and Fishmonger seems pretty good. That also, like, helps with the Flash Bomb draw. That's what it's all about now. Okay, we need something cheap. This is not cheap. I have three rerolls. Do I take Nico or do I roll again? Leo for Sun? No, pretty awful. I really don't like that. Roll? This is worse. Alright, I mean, this kind of works. Echo for voice lines? I really don't like picking expensive champions. Okay, Nila actually makes the card playable on turn one. Work? For man is expensive? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> For a 4 2? That's outrageous. This time we'll make things right. Look, like this is exactly why two or one mana cards are so good. Never see these I mean if you if you have hidden tome, it matters less, but if you have a one mana champion, it makes the Sheriff of Piltover playable like almost immediately. This is extremely good. Another one. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. 
Minor struggle. News from the Undercity ship, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. Isn't Argus better than his epic that reaples mana? Nope. Because uh, by using it like this, you get to play the Sheriff of Piltover immediately. So next turn we double our spells. I'll shoot this, I guess. Okay, Camtek Duplicator is now active. That thing is very dead. Okay, let's see. Securing the perimeter. I mean, this thing is not that scary. I can wait a second. See if they play something bigger. Okay, it's Camtek Duplicator does feel pretty good, actually. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can Omega Bomba them. They always hide, and we always find them. I, 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 I gotta go all out just this once. <laughs> Spawn killed. How much is that? 33 damage. Wait, there's more. 41. Ah! Oh, 51. What is happening? Oh, he's got double. 65 damage. Scoping the area. Now we wait. <laughs> oh my god. They drew six cards. A satisfactory outcome. Cut a card. I'm cutting the Justice Rider. Actually, maybe Officer Squad is worse because it is a 4-5 and we can never really play the card. It is, like, really good for a late game, I guess. Maybe I just cut the Formless Blade. No, it draws a champion. No, I'll just cut the Justice Rider. Cut the Bro, the Grouch is double attack. And for three mana, he shuffles Flash Bombs. No, Vikry, I'm not cutting a 2 2 elusive that actually does something for me. Even in a pinch, I'll happily pay 4 mana to draw 2 cards. That is not good advice. Do you play Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel? I played it. I was actually sponsored to play it once and had a really good time. It's kind of hard to play multiple card or strategy games at the same time, though. But that's why I haven't been playing recently. Tough places bring tough people. Got him on the roof. Okay. Yeah, I think Hidden Tome is just extremely good. Like, every time I play with Hidden Tome, it just... I'm just kind of amazed by how good it feels. Like, here. Just get all our mana back. I mean, she also has this item, right? But it just feels super good. Nice. Big. This is the 6.5. I have not beat it yet. So close. Okay, so we need to play Caitlyn now. See what level. And then next turn we start doubling the spells. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Yeah, I'm doing the 6.5 right now. I failed twice. I got absolutely rolled by Anivia once, and then I tried to do it with Elder Dragon and also lost very fast. Ew. 
double it up. I didn't get a crit there. Yeah, this feels nice. I feel like the build is coming together right here. My Navia didn't generate an L. I think I just got unlucky twice. Here's my calling card. Oh, I got mushroom delivery and crystal carrier. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean. What is joy to you, brother? True joy. Being here, dancing in all the beauty of life. Make a protocol. Had to double crit. You name it, I'll nick it. Alright, you know what? How about the no, I can't actually kill him with that because <laughs> this thing is elusive. Alright. The river bends but never breaks. Uh, whatever. Draw units. I don't really need that. Oh, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Mm, I think my worst card now is Officer Squad or Vakrash. I think I will cut Vakrash now. On my wings. I think especially against Anivia, it just kind of dies. That's a Mr. Nugget. <laughs> okay, so we push for the flash bombs early. Don't get Eldred. Don't get Eldred. Don't get Eldred. Oh, wait. Oh, that item is terrible. Oh, I just realized the random equipment gets plus three cost. God, I'm, that's stupid. Yeah, that was actually really stupid. I mean... Yeah, then again. Sometimes you'll just get, like, the original cost of the weapon. Or, you know, plus one cost, I guess. Okay, can we crit it? We crit it. Thank God. Okay, that, that like, that is all it takes to make Saron winnable. I regret nothing. That thing is also scary, though. It didn't actually look like they put it on anything. One, two, three, four, oh, five. Land. Your strength is lacking. Got him on the roof. Can I get the elusive one? Easy. Still taking twelve, because this has overwhelm. Hello there. Didn't even matter. <laughs> Okay, where's my Caitlyn? This is my Caitlyn. What? Joy unbound and everlasting. No way. I really needed that to be. Oh, dude, too... Yeah, I need to cut improvement. That it's, it's so easy to forget about that power, man. Bro, if I had Caitlyn, the game would be over right now. Places breed tough people, keeping pace. 
Entering crime scene. Okay. This spell, yeah, you, it's uh, it's one of the upgrades in the Caitlyn Constellation too. It is unique to Path of Champions. You can get it from a node. Um, plenty of flash bomb on each card in the enemy deck. You get it from the ch the support champion when you summon it. Okay, but like, it's a little ridiculous that we don't have to Caitlyn here, right? It's a little ridiculous. It's a little insane. Look at how many flash bombs we have. 72, man. If only they were puff caps instead. Yeah, oh, good call, good call. That would be better. Eyes blazing, That's the best you can do. What? Yeah, I'll go back into the deck too. Hurt me? Nice! Okay, we beat Anivia. Whew! Alright, we're cooking with this. Yeah, I'm I'm really starting to think that this is the build for higher end adventures. Camp Tech Duplicator, if you have to manage them on Caitlyn, actually gets you there pretty fast. <laughs> I mean I don't want to take this, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Ally buffs. Is that barrier permanent? Is that when a unit with 8 attack, health, or cost, grind a plus 8 percent? None of these are playable. We have no buffs, no units with 8 attack. That, those were epics, and they were really bad. Really bad. <laughs> Wrong one. I found rat. I'm still attacking here. This time we'll make things right. Find the down never. The worst one to get. Fourteen flash bombs. Not bad, not bad. So close. Hard to dump my hand. I mean, we'll get it. Peacemaker protocol. Peacemaker protocol. If you use the spell that doubles the damage the unit takes, you use Ace and Hole and crits, you deal 40 damage. Yeah, I think so. The spell has overwhelm, so it should. Intel looks good. A permanent ready to breach. Okay, 
we're gonna bomb on them next turn. Minus 25? Second one was a crit. Okay, so now we're gonna use this card. And Caitlyn is gonna deal a million damage again because it gets doubled. This draws them six cards. Okay, that's already six damage for Caitlyn. I could have just killed them by playing this, but this is funnier. 9, 15, 22, 24, 28, 35, 47? 47. Let's investigate. Can you explain why chimes are sometimes tripled by the power? Uh, I don't know. I took chimes and I never saw them triple, so I have no idea. All the bombs stacking onto each other. Yep, because if one of them misses, it goes back into the deck. So, uh, it's impossible to miss. And the Caitlyn just keeps getting more and more damage because of it. We play a spell, Grim, plus one, plus one, plus three, plus three, plus... But ephemeral? Let's take this one. Focus and crystal. Okay, we have no reroll. Your spells and skills deal two extra damage. You know what? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Works with Ace in the Hole. Works with our champion spell. I will gladly take that. Makes Ardent Sensor like kind of good as well. Hmm. We're still leaving though. I don't want this either. Free attack on that. It's a dead card. Do I want an item chest or a champion? I'm gonna go for the champion here. This is kind of a scary fight though. Is it 22 damage or 24? A, a critical strike just means it can double. So if it deals 12, it will start dueling, doing 24 if we crit. I just think this card is kind of good. This time we'll make things right. As long as they draw a good amount of uh, of flash bombs here, then maybe we can use this to kill. Oh. Snipe though, actually snipe. Not bad. I think I have to use this. But I wonder if they play more. Let's see what's Come, test your might. <laughs> eh, minus six. I, it could be worse. Oh, I should use that here. Oops. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna guarantee... ...that every card they draw has at least two flash bombs now. What's even better is that with the charlatan on the field, it will always draw at least two cards. So that's four flash bombs every turn. Uh, next turn is six, so we can go Caitlyn, get our mana back too. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. This card is guaranteed to be at least four mana. Probably less. Unless we're very unlucky. We got that crit. Alright. Five? I just need to use this on an Overrealm, or Elusive, I guess. Minus 33? <laughs> Those aren't very scary. Is that bad? They do draw three cards and have three mana. Maybe that was bad. I could have taken extra damage from that. And again, Caitlyn might kill them. Caitlyn probably will kill them. Nah, yeah, Caitlyn will kill them. Yeah. 
Interesting. Okay, that killed himself. Turning yourself in. Wait, I still take damage from this? Why? I think one here. Now we wait. Why did I take one damage? I thought Caitlyn like hitting on the left there would just end the game immediately. The river bends, but never breaks. Okay, that's weird. Play, I start a free attack. When I'm summoned, I draw a spell. Might be I draw I start a free attack. No, I can't because I need the hex deck. Oh, so I lost health in the fight, but not actually? Okay, we cut the iterative. Yeah, so I just said that I lost minus one in the fight, but that didn't actually count for when I went back to the overworld. Interesting. I think free attack would normally be be fine, but since we're playing a camp tech build, it's not good. Okay, they start with Viego. Free. Wow. Oh, that's that's fair. It's also really cool. Giving chase. I'll attack with this before they play like an elusive walker. Okay, 99 health. This one might be a bit rougher. If this thing dies, the Hydrovine dies, we're in good shape. This time we'll make things right. Same as PvP, shows the combo resolution, but you don't think that. Thing is, it's it's not intuitive because with lifesteal, if you kill them and then you lifesteal later on, even though they're already dead, you do take that lifesteal with you. Let's talk this out. Find her. My flock. And man, you get below zero HP, what would happen? Yes, I mean, sure. I'm, I'm not disputing it or anything. I'm just saying it's not entirely intuitive because of the way life still works, so... At least questioning how it works, I feel like, is not an unfair thing to do. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Well, what have we here? Oh my god. Hmm. That's annoying. Hot on the trail. Don't touch her. At least I only deal one. Oh, and I burnt that. I'll thank me later. Okay, they're getting pretty big here. Okay, they get their Viego bag, but I was waiting for this. Well, we're in full control, but it's not over yet. Okay, what the hell? That's how, that's how that works. Give her back. Yes. Oh, I got my. Do I get my mana back? No, I don't. 
They drew like nothing there. <laughs> wow! Really? I'm always on the right side of things. Ah, yeah, now you draw 13. Might help, might not. Right on target. Yeah, I'll probably just use this here. Opportunities double S. Like okay, never mind you. We do have 10 puff caps, yeah. That's uh, 30 damage. <laughs> I burned one Neela. I would really like to have the Neela, though. That's a dead Poro. It feels so good that these flash bombs keep getting shuffled back if they don't hit anything, man. Okay, yeah. No, oh, he's, he's dead, alright. You got him. What have we here? I will find her. Change of plans. Your guy will probably die here. Opportunities double edged. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you played yourself. <laughs> Twenty-four. Intel looks good. A permanent ready to breach. Officer down. Yeah. I think we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta go for the shroom kill, yeah. Their lowest cost card was a six mana one. That's lethal. How much damage? 101! 114? Caitlyn was dealing 130 damage! Oh, 130? <laughs> that is a snipe. Good god. That, that That's enough to one-shot a boss. That's enough to one-shot Lissandra. GG. That... Is the weekly nightmare for this week. Thinking of the Brazilian Victor, time bomb printer, one, two, Mr.